We're back, it's a new day. We're gonna use this. I got a non-plastic tin and I got these really cheap paintbrushes because I think it's kind of gonna destroy them. Gonna start there first. We do it in sections, leave it 15 minutes and then scrape a little bit. I feel like I should cover my arms. This is what it's looking like. You can see the parts I've already sanded down, but should we see if there's any movement? I might have to leave that a little bit longer. Bad news about the beam, it's a stain and it's really not budging. So unfortunately, I think what we're gonna have to do is do the treatment, do the filler, and then paint it white and put some wax or something over the top. It just has a really dark stain on it and it's really not budging and it's so patchy. I'm gonna try using the paint remover on the skirting boards and see if the gloss will come off. See if that does anything. We have heat. It's not kicked in yet though, so it's still cold. I treated the beams. Hopefully some of it will go through the stain. Next, we're gonna sand this skirting board down. If we could save it, that would be good. Polyfiller still needs to dry. And then maybe we can paint this in a couple of days. This is what I did just sanding and it took forever. Then I used the paint stripper and look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Down for today. I'm very tired, very hungry. I'm not ecstatic about using this stuff again. Honestly, it's like the strongest thing I've ever used. It's so strong, the smell. This is the splits and the wood boring beetles holes. Like, there's so many. That was an entire split. We need to do this big one. <laughs> oh my. You would not believe the smell. I'm now gonna work my way through this huge split all the way down, I'll show you it. I'm gonna have to move the ladder across, but that's the split that we need to fill. That is the little being done. Say little, it's still, it's still pretty big. It's getting late, it's getting dark, the beams are done, and we spontaneously did something. We grouted these tiles. And I didn't show you the before, so I can't tell you how much better they look. These were yellow and kind of black, so that's fun. Tomorrow, probably gonna work on sanding and painting these white unfortunately and then we're gonna put a wax or something on top and i put new lights in the spotlights so these are led rather than halogen is that it this one's very old too this one is also that but yeah that's a good day all wrapped up We're back, same outfit, you know how it is. We're gonna be sanding off the wood filler, adding some white chalk paint, and hopefully the beams eventually will look like nice pine. Of course, this was never the plan. 
The wood needs to be treated and restored because there's a bit of rot and damage from wood boring beetles. That means there's huge splits and honestly hundreds of tiny holes. But in order to use treatment on the wood you need to strip it back to bare wood. At the beginning we thought it was varnish on the wood but because nothing is removing this colour at all it appears to be a stain. Stains are difficult to remove, sanding did a little bit and the paint stripper did nothing. It kind of seeps into the wood rather than sitting on top. There doesn't seem to be any kind of varnish or sealant on top of the stain. Since it's not glossy it doesn't feel like there's any kind of coating on it. So we went straight in with treatment and I'm kind of hoping that the majority of the treatment will reach the wood. The next step which you saw was using a ton of wood filler to fill every single hole and crack. And now unfortunately that leaves us with the only option to paint the beams white and then add a wax on top. We're doing all of this to try and restore the beams, to try and prevent the beetles doing more damage and the splits from getting worse. Hopefully us moving in and heating the house will naturally prevent this too. And we also wanted to make the beams lighter. I'm not a huge fan of that dark red wooden look. It's in the old flap and I covered it with vinyl. About 15 years ago it would have been fashionable but now I just feel like it's a really dated look and it does make the room look darker. Our aim is to bring the light in these rooms and have some lovely light wooden beams if that's possible. This is what the beams are looking like. Although it's removed all of the character of the property, I don't know, it kind of looks crisp. This is what we're going to be using and I'm really hoping that this is going to work. I've watched YouTube videos and it kind of looks like magic. I'm going to do it in an area that's most hidden, so it's going to be behind this beam. Are you ready? I'm not sure I am. Oh, okay. That looks like something. This is what the beam's looking like. It doesn't particularly look like wood. I mean, you can see a lot of texture on it. Since you've only got one ladder, I think I'm gonna leave my partner to do that and we're gonna work on painting the walls. I've got anti-mold paint and I need to figure out how to open this. It's smelly. I've got a roller, a paintbrush and this tray and we're not worrying too much about the carpet or the skirting board really. I've ordered some new carpet that should be coming soon. That was kind of low on the list but we've only got one room and I ordered really cheap carpet. The reason why is because there's a lot of marks on the carpet and there's also this iron stain. <laughs> I don't know what accident happened here. I think we're going to move downstairs now and do some edges and then we'll try and use the roller later on. Upstairs isn't too bad, but there's something wrong with this wall. Well, well, what is that? It just looks really weird. It's kind of sitting on the wall as well. It's not actually soaking in. And also a fun development. When adding paint, it picked up the paint already on the wall. It picked up the wall. Literally, it picked up all of this. So that's today done. 
It's the final day. Tomorrow we're moving in. I'm back in my painting clothes and we've got a lot to do. My art box is kind of overflowing, so I'm gonna have to get some more to pop all of that in. I think today we're gonna take a lot of the art supplies over. That's gonna be difficult to transport. Just grabbing some of the slightly awkward or fragile boxes that might be a bit tricky in the truck. It's come around quick though. It does feel a little bit crazy. When we get to the house, I need to finish painting one of the walls. We're gonna paint around the beams. I'll show you the beams. And we need to seal the floor tiles so the bugs will stop coming in. And then we need to give the house a proper clean so it's all ready for us to move in. And I don't know where everything's gonna go. Oh, I wanna put some curtains up as well. We haven't got any curtains up yet, but I've got a little bit of painting to do near the curtain. I've got this box. I like to keep various different materials that I can use for scrapbooking and for my daily doodle diary. So we need to somehow fit them all in here. I wasn't able to take much of this, but like, it's just a really lovely shiny material. Found these old train tickets as well, which I thought were really cool. So I'm gonna use these. I think that's better. on the floor and I mean it doesn't look great but the main priority is we need to get rid of these bugs. It's so cold without heating now. This is how the beams are looking. They look like wood. So now I need to paint all of these edges here and I'm hoping that it will go over this wax, but I don't know. I'm using this, it's an old paintbrush, but I think it'll be so much better just by that point. I mean, from a distance, they look pretty good. I don't think we're gonna rush to do a second layer because they look pretty decent. You might remember that I picked up some really cheap curtains and they're also slightly different sizes. So we need to figure out what would be best on each window. I'm keeping that. These are the four sets of curtains we've got. These ones are very long. I didn't realize they were that long. I mean, out of these, these ones are the only ones that are blackout. So I think these red ones might be going on the biggest window. The purple ones I know are blackout, so I think they're gonna go in that window. So I guess those two will have to go downstairs. That was a lot easier to sort out than I thought. currently making do with what we got and this one has been in a box for four years so it's looking a little bit creased it's a little bit long this one on the other hand this is working pretty good i mean it's kind of the right length and it feels really nice and it's blackout 
I think this looks pretty good for six pounds. I've got my laptop down here with no internet. Quickly exporting that video because I need to upload when we get back. I need to optimize, I need to get the thumbnail ready. I need to get it completely ready because we're not gonna have internet until five days time. Oh, how good are these footlights though? That's pretty good lighting, honestly. But yeah, I think once this export's done, I think we might be heading back for our final night in the flat. Two minutes left. I decided to not do it in 4K so that we would have time. This is the pile of stuff and tomorrow we're gonna put everything downstairs. We need to remove this vinyl. It's done me really well, but it's time to take it off. This is what it was before, you might remember on my older videos. I got the marble pattern and honestly, it's done really well. I've got a couple of little scratches here, but unfortunately it's gonna have to go. I've got a hairdryer, it's all I've got. So let's give this a go. This is slightly problematic. It's done, the flat is clean and tidy. It's still covered in mold, but that's what it's like living in Britain. Especially when the landlord doesn't actually deal with it. Like this leaky roof that was fixed by adding paint. I'm glad to be out of this, honestly. Seriously though, we were using bleach and the mold is still not budging. This was my desk for two years. Yeah, it's not great. This room is probably about the size of our entire house downstairs. It's a little bit small, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, it looks so sad even more sad than usual. Hey, I'm not gonna miss this carpet. We've got this, we've got a truck, and we're now heading over to the house. I'm comfy and we've all moved in. This is what the house is looking like. This is the front door and this is the situation we're gonna be sleeping here tonight. We have stuff in here. Yeah, that does bother me too. And we have stuff in here. So this was a pretty big moving journey. Thank you so much for being here. I think it's been fun. I think it's going to be fun. Next up in the moving series, we'll be creating an art studio from scratch. It's taken many long months to get to this point and I can't wait to show you everything. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you on Thursday with a new video. Bye-bye.